This is my airsoft rifle, and it's damn special to me. Not just because it's kept me sane during the pandemic, not just because of the sweet meat tenderizer attachment I put in the front, not because the barrel has a tracer unit, which means I can shoot laser beams, and not just because I've named her Jadzia. No, it's because this is the most high-tech BB gun on the planet thanks to a custom augmented reality system that combines a stream of 3D images with a real-time physics simulation so it can actually show you the path a projectile is going to take before you pull the trigger. What it's really doing is turning the field in front of you into a video game. 3D maps turn everything in front of you into a video game level, and then that physics simulation is basically a virtual bullet in that video game, so it knows when that bullet goes forward, if it's gonna hit part of the level, if it's gonna hit one of the bad guys, and then it draws the path of the bullet as if you're looking at a laser in the real world going from the barrel to what it's actually gonna hit, that means it can do what you can't do with something more conventional like iron sights or even a laser pointer because it takes into account gravity and spin and drag and all these other forces that you just can't simulate when you're just putting a little dot on the top here. This right here is a Z2 depth camera. It's from Stereolabs. It sends the images to this baby right here, which is a Jetson Nano. NVIDIA makes it. Sort of like a Raspberry Pi, but it's got its own GPU. It's got oomph, right? <clears throat> Normally, it actually has a top covering all the, the sexy computer bits, but it's sexier in the nude. So for this video, it's, you know, I'm showing off its innards. Now, even though everything's designed to be super compact, it still takes a lot of power. So we added a separate power source in the back here. We got a 6,200 milliamp hour, big fat LiPo battery here that'll power the thing for about an hour and 15 minutes. We convert that from 7.2 volts to five volts, which is what the Jetson Nano needs. We get it to the Jetson Nano through these wires that go through this compartment and then come out and input the voltage into the these GPIO pins right there. And the cables connecting the battery to the system stick out the back. It's a bit of an eyesore, but if something goes wrong, there's a short whatever I just need to shut her down, I just yank the wires apart. Everything's good. Needless to say, there is a setup process at the beginning so that the simulation has all the data it needs to accurately run a simulation, but that's actually super easy thanks to a 2D interface that you can navigate with a wireless mouse via USB. It takes five minutes. Click on these buttons right here to indicate the offset of the camera from the barrel, and you don't even have to get it perfect. Just play with it until when you shoot and you see the line, it, it lines up. Then you put in the weight of the BB, the initial velocity, which you can get from the chronometer at every airsoft range, a rough approximation of the spin, and the temperature, which you can get from Google. So basically, to set it all up, you take it to the range with a mouse for five minutes, and you're good to go. To finish off with a few notes, all the software powering this is free and open source. Somewhere in GitHub below, you can click on that and get all the code. You can just have it, it's yours. Secondly, there's a piece of the physics puzzle for the simulation that's missing right now, and that is spin decay. When the BB is spinning, it's gonna lose that spin over time. Spin is important, spin generates lift, it makes the BB go up, so if you can't quite account for that over time, then you're gonna think the BB is higher or lower than it actually will be. If you have the hop-up cranked up on the airsoft gun, then at longer ranges, you're gonna lose accuracy pretty quickly. I have an experiment designed, and I'm about halfway done with it to get a better idea of how that works, but in the meantime, that's one little situation where it's not gonna be too accurate. And lastly, airsoft players, I'm sure, will see this and think, that's not actually gonna help you. They're gonna come up with all kinds of excuses, like, man, you're, you're better off just looking with your eyes, or it's gonna be so heavy. I think it will be useful, but honestly, I, I don't care. That's not the point. The point was not to have a tool. The point was to make the tool, to learn the low-level optimizations, to make this fast in the real time, to do the augmented reality, to figure out the electronics, metal work, just to build this. Building is why I did it, so y'all can just save it. So yeah, this is my rifle. There are none like it, and this one is mine.